Hey guys, welcome back to Roshan Aras World. We have Chirag Anil, who has recently uh, got placed in uh, Infosys uh, for a system engineer profile, and for, uh, he is from 2021 batch pass out. So let's start, Chirag, uh, with your interview experience and your exam experience, uh, so that people out there get, uh, you know, uh, knowledge uh, out of this video. Good afternoon, Roshan Aras. My name is Chirag. I belong to Meerut, Uttar Pradesh. I have completed my 10th and 12th from Meerut itself. The name of the school was Transfer Academy International, and then I have completed my engineering from Meerut Institute of Engineering and Technology, and I am from Electrical Branch. And then after, unfortunately, I didn't get any placement from my college, so I start setting for the off-campus placements, and then. Uh, Rest is history. I am sitting in front of you, and I got placed as a system engineer in Infosys. So, Chirag, can you explain a little bit about the exam pattern and how was your exam? Okay. So, my written exam was held on 16th of uh, September, 16th of sorry, 22nd of August, and uh, it comprises of five sections. The first one was reasoning, then quantitative aptitude, then English. Uh, then there was a section uh, known as puzzle section, uh, which is not usually present in other MNC exams. So it was a new uh, thing for me. And then after all, it was a pseudo code section in which there was there were five set, five questions, out of which two were of OOP's concept, and the rest of the three, three were from pseudo code. So yes, this was all about the exam pattern. And if I talk about the difficulty level of the exam, then it was about it was from easy to more moderate level. It wasn't very much difficult. Like uh, you are good to go with the exam if you have done not more than 15 days of uh, practice. It means 15 days of practice is enough to crack the exam. So were there any kind of negative marking in this exam? No, there was no negative marking. So I would I would advise you all to do as many questions as possible, and if possible, try to attempt all the questions. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, now let's move on to the uh, this uh, interview part. How was your interview and how was your experience? What kind of questions were asked? Okay, so on sixteenth of September, round about. Uh, 20 to 25 days after my written exam, my mm. interview was conducted, and the person who took my interview was a very senior member of the courses. So he was a scrum master. What I got to know from his LinkedIn profile. So I also prepared like into his domain what he was, what like what is scrum and what are agile technologies. So I just took an overview of what he does because there might be a possibility like he asked me uh, related to these topics like what is agile technology and what is scrum. And then uh, yes, my interview as I already told you was on 16th of September. So the interview went on for about 25 minutes. I was also really surprised because I have seen many interviews uh, which were held only for about seven to eight minutes and max to max ninety minutes. But I don't know why they didn't my interview to uh, to place for such a long time. But yes, I was uh, very prepared for it because I had prepared my resume thoroughly and like uh, if. If you are guided by the YouTube channels like Roshan Aras World and there are other YouTube channels, they will definitely tell you how important the project is. Like uh, you should know your project in, into very uh, the depth of the knowledge, and also the resume should be prepared accordingly. So yes, uh, this thing is for sure that uh, you are not going to uh, get much of the questions which are outside from resume. So that is why I am asking you to prepare the resume first. And talking about the programming part for clearing the written exam as well as the interview, you don't need to be very good with your programming skills. They only want someone who is just good with the basics. You, if you only know the basics, then you are good to go with the written as well as the interview exam. And yes, the one advice that would that I would like to give is uh, if you are explaining something to the interviewer related to the programming or some concept of programming. Then you should explain it with the help of real life example. Like I explained, what is encapsulation with a very good real life example, 
and uh, from that example he was very interested in me. so this was all about interview experience there could be some of the uh, situational based questions as well so don't need to panic at all you just say whatever your heart uh, whatever strikes in your mind for the very first time don't try to overthink and don't get nervous and uh, i was i felt that they only want the candidate who is willing to learn they don't want a like very uh, knowledgeable person okay so uh, chirag uh, can you explain i mean were there any questions from projects as well yes uh, the project is one of the major area that you should focus on while sitting in any of not only the courses let's see uh, if you are sitting you must be awake uh, what role do you play in that uh, what difficulties you face in while making a project and what challenges uh, came in front of you while uh, making your project and how did you overcome them and these these are uh, some the questions that are asked very frequently but still they could ask you uh, from anything to anything in your project domain only so because uh, you know this is the one thing uh, that you have done uh, hands on in your entire four year career in your entire four year graduation so you must know each and everything about your project so i don't think they are asking for much as you have you must have been uh, completed your project so you must know uh, each and everything about the project so the project becomes a very crucial and a very important part of your entire resume if you are uh, if you have given uh, the answers of all the answers of the questions which were asked related to the project then i think you will get selected in the interview uh, for sure okay so were there a, okay so you explained about project you explained about the technical questions now what kind of hr questions you uh, were asked so uh, before sitting in the interview i, I knew that he is going to the first question that he is going to ask me was to introduce myself but he surprised me even in the first minute of the interview he didn't ask me any introductory part so he directly jumped onto the covid situation in my area and how people are tackling them uh, and what role are you playing in uh, tackling the covid situation and what precautions and safety measures are you adopting so what i felt that these questions were just to check my presence of mind and my communication skills you know so he just wanted to check my uh, communication skills at that point of time uh, the other question was a situation based question uh, that Hey, Chirag, if you are thrown into a jungle, then what would you do uh, in order to protect yourself? So this was a very new question. I didn't expect this question uh, in a in a IT interview. I knew that this these kind of questions are asked in UPSC interviews, but uh, getting this type of question thrown into your face in an IT interview is was very new for me. so one must not panic in such questions they should try to give whatever strikes the first thing in their mind so the other uh, hr question was like if uh, if you are from a electrical background then why you want to join an it company and this is the question that you should be at least prepared for and if you are from a non csid background then this is the one question that you can't cannot escape uh, your entire life i don't think you can escape this question so you should prepare it uh, well in advance the other question was uh, like the other question was uh, are you willing to relocate and we have a laptop of your so in, and are you willing to study uh, abroad like are, are you willing to pursue future education so these were some of the questions then that you should answer very uh, precautiously uh, as as you should answer yes in each and every one of these questions so means they should feel that you are here to stay with the company and you are not planning to leave the company within two or three years you should make them feel this so this was all about my hr questions and i don't know whether i might be forgetting some question but yes there are many uh, interview experience on the hr channel you can go and check them out uh, if in case i am forgetting some so uh, thank you chirag for explaining so well uh, so the last uh, question would be that uh, any strategy or tip you want to share with uh, people out there okay 
So first of all, uh, you you uh, while sitting in an interview, uh, like the written exam is really easy, and even with 10 or 15 days of preparation, correct can crack it. So I would directly jump on to the interview part. You must the one thing that you should uh, take care of that is that you should uh, not panic at all. Like the interview interviewer don't want you to know each and everything, but he wants to just check your communication skills and the your pressure handling ability. So these are the two things that the interviewer wants to check. And the other thing is that, as I already mentioned, you should be really thorough with your resume. Okay, uh, thank you, Chirag, for explaining. Uh, I mean, uh, each and every point very clearly, and sharing your tips as well. Uh, like Chirag said, that your Wi-Fi connection and your connectivity should be good, so that you have backup and you you don't face any problems later on. And yes, prepare well. Don't panic is the main key to uh, you know uh, clear and crack your interview is the main point for especially for freshers basically. So, uh, guys, yeah. So guys, we will be closing uh, the video here itself. Thank you so much, Chirag, and all the best for your future journey with Infosys. I hope you uh, grow very, very soon in Infosys. Uh, thank you, Chirag. Thank you. The pleasure is all. Uh, thank you, guys. Have a great day. Be safe. Take care. Bye.